Hello YouTube, we're here with something very special once again, and I don't know why I decided to do this, but today we're going to be having the three series of Godzilla face off against one another, which the three series would be first one, the original series, second one, High Say series, third one, Millennium series, and they show how this monster evolves and they They've each got their own takes on Godzilla, I'd say. So, we're going to start out the original. It has movies like Gojira, the original, and what should be the best. And it also has Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Terror of Mechagodzilla, and more. Um... As to where the Heisei series has movies like Godzilla vs. Destroyer, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla vs. Violante, Godzilla 1985, and that, and plenty more of where that came from. And the Millennium series doesn't have too much movies, but it's still a good series, and it gives Godzilla much of what he deserves. It has movies like Godzilla 2000. Uh, Godzilla versus or er, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, and it has Godzilla Final Wars, Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Monster King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack, and I think, oh yeah, Godzilla vs. Mega Gears. That's it for the Millennium series. So. We're going to start out with having some of the movies face off against each other. And we're going to do Godzilla vs. Hedorah from the original series. And it's going to be against, let's see, Godzilla Tokyo SOS from the Millennium series. Now, Godzilla vs. Hedorah shows fun superhero Godzilla as to where Tokyo SOS uh, shows an evil Godzilla and they're out to destroy it. However, in Godzilla vs. Hedorah, Godzilla has to stop the enemy, Hedorah, which is made from Earth's pollution, and he he fights it and wins. Uh, and in Tokyo SOS, he fights both Mothra and Kiryu, also known as Mechagodzilla 3. And he he uh, beats Mothra, but then the two baby Mothras hatch, Mothra larvas, and, well, they web him up, and then Mechagodzilla brings him back into the ocean where... Where the bones of the original Mechagodzilla, or the bones of the original Godzilla, are inside of Mechagodzilla, and they both go into the ocean, cocooned Godzilla, and Mechagodzilla. So he doesn't really win there; he kind of loses. And overall, between those two movies, I'd say the better one is Godzilla vs. Hedorah from the original series. And it's not that tough to, of a decision, really. And the second face-off we'll have is... Terror of Mechagodzilla, which I've reviewed. And that will face off Terror of Mechagodzilla from the original series. Against... Let's see, I'll try to do one from the high say. A good one from the high say. Uh... Terror of Mechagodzilla versus Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Um, Terror of Mechagodzilla starts where Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla left off in the original series, and they're looking for Mechagodzilla in the ocean, but they can't find him, and they're attacked by a dinosaur-like creature called Titanosaurus. And the aliens rebuild Mechagodzilla, and Godzilla has to go out to fight him. Now in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, King Ghidorah is evil and Godzilla has to fight him, but he's erased from history. 
well, the Godzilla source is, and he comes back is Godzilla. And he fights King Ghidorah and defeats him. And Godzilla does defeat Mechagodzilla in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Or Terror Mechagodzilla, sorry. And he has to go fight Titanosaurus and kill him, which he does with Eats. And then in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah is revealed because Godzilla is the evil one now, and now they have to fight him. And he defeats Mecha King Ghidorah also. Now, between those two movies, this one's a tough one. I'd have to choose. But uh, let's see. Choose Terror of Mecha Godzilla. And it's just because I don't know, I I do like the original series a lot and it could be my favorite. But the real reason is I like the original monsters better than the High Say monsters. King Ghidorah in the High Say series is better than he was in the original, I'll give it that. But Mech Godzilla from the original series is one is probably my favorite Godzilla enemy there is. And that's why I choose that one. And next one we'll have we'll have a high say versus millennium. We'll have let's see, we'll have from the high say series we'll take Dang, get that. from the high six series. <laughs> I can't. Um, we'll do. Hang on, let me choose from the Millennium series first. How about? Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, we'll take that one, and the one in the Heisei series will be Godzilla and Mothra, the Battle for Earth. And Godzilla and Mothra, the Battle for Earth, it starts out with Mothra and Batra, two enemy butterflies fighting, well, they're gonna fight. Godzilla makes an appearance and defeats them both in larva form. He doesn't kill him, he just beats him. They think Godzilla and Batch are dead, but really they're not. There's just an earthquake. In Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, he's pitted against Mechagodzilla for the third time, and it's not Mothra in this one. It's just Godzilla and Mechagodzilla, also known as Kiryu. And the bones from the original Godzilla are placed in Kiryu, and he he realizes this, and the DNA triggers this memory. So he destroys the city, Kiryu does, after defeating Godzilla for the first time. And then, let's go back to Godzilla and Mothra, the Battle for Earth. The butterflies... Well, they're now butterflies. They transformed into that state, and they had to fight Godzilla in that form. And Godzilla gets defeated, but he kills Batra. And Mothra flies off into space with the Godzilla cells, and that creates Space Godzilla, which is in another movie. Um, and... Let's see, in Godzilla... Against Mechagodzilla, they fight in Godzilla's atomic breath, and Mechagodzilla's atomic zero are about to go off. They go off simultaneously, and Godzilla escapes injured, and Kiryu escapes broken down, and Godzilla wins that battle. Barely, but he does. In between those two movies, I'd honestly have to choose Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth. I'm not really into the Mechagodzilla in the uh, Millennium series, 
Just my opinion, I guess. And now, finally, we'll have all three of them face off. We'll take the best movie from each series. So, from the original series, we'll take Gojira. Heisei series, we'll take Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Millennium series, we'll take Godzilla Final Wars. Uh, okay. So, in Gojira, from the original 1954, uh... It's it's just real. Like Japan wanted to show how they were terrorized from the atomic bomb and all the fire and destruction was everywhere and it was real. And they treated it like a disaster. And let's go to the next one, which would be Godzilla vs. Destroyer in 1995. The oxygen destroyer, ironically, from Gojira creates an evil monster called Destroyer which kills anything by cutting off the oxygen supply and turning it to bones much like the oxygen destroyer did in Gojira which by the way was tested on fish and they did they turned to bones lost their oxygen died all that and on to Godzilla Final Wars the final one which had stock footage from both Gojira and Godzilla vs. Destroyer. And this one took a turn. It once again brought Godzilla back as the hero. The in Gojira he was a villain. In Godzilla vs. Destroyer he was an anti hero. And in Godzilla Final Wars he's just a hero. So they they bring back the hero side of Godzilla and he goes and fights all the other monsters and defeats them all. In Gojira, he's pitted against the oxygen destroyer, as already said, and they they kill him with it and he turns to bones. His bones is the lie on the bottom of the sea until Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. And in Godzilla vs Destroyer, Godzilla's son gets killed. Uh, and Godzilla, the actual Godzilla, who's about to die himself, goes and fights Destroyer and beats him. Uh, so, that was that. In, in Godzilla Final Wars, he takes on his greatest enemy, Kaiser Ghidorah, sent down by X, and he blows two of his heads off. After Godzilla gets annihilated, but then gets brought back by Ozaki. And he blows him up, and that's the end of that. At the end of Godzilla vs. Destroyer, or let's start at Gojira. At the end of Gojira, they, they're sad because Dr. Sarasawa died while well, killing Godzilla. And... In Godzilla vs. Destroy, Godzilla's sad, and he, well, he revives his son, which couldn't, it's either Godzilla 2000 or the Godzilla from Godzilla Final Wars, which, it's interesting. And, at the end of Godzilla Final Wars, Godzilla takes his son, and he travels off into sea, letting go of a victory roar. The best out of those three... This is a tough one. Um, the one with the best plot is definitely Gojira. The most action-packed is Godzilla Final Wars. And the best ending is Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Let's just say it's a three-way tie. And... Overall, my favorite series, well actually let's go monsters first. The Godzilla monster in the original series, fit for kids. The Godzilla from the Heisei series, fit for adults. Godzilla in Millennium series, fit for all ages. So that just, meaning the Godzilla in the Heisei series is the biggest and baddest out of all of them. 
and he's the most ruthless and he'll just kill anything. And that's why I have to choose the Heisei series as my favorite. So that's it. Got the winning. The Heisei series. Goodbye, YouTube. See you next time.